Imagine a world without sound, devoid of music, speech, and the hum of nature. Difficult, isn't it? Our journey begins at the dawn of time, where the first sounds echoed across the landscapes. These were the sounds of nature, the rustling leaves, the gushing rivers, the howling winds, and the chirping birds. Early humans, our ancestors, were immersed in this natural symphony, and it shaped their understanding of the world. As humans evolved, so did their interaction with sound. They began to mimic the sounds around them, the roar of a predator, the call of a bird. This was more than just mimicry, it was the birth of communication, the first languages formed from the sounds of the environment. Sound became a survival tool, a way to alert others of danger, to call for help, or to coordinate hunts. But sound wasn't just about survival. It was also a source of spiritual connection. From the rhythmic beating of hands on stretched animal skins to the simple melodies played on bone flutes, sound became a way to express emotions, tell stories, and connect with the unseen forces of the world. These early musical instruments were more than just objects. They were a bridge to the divine, a way to reach out to the spirits and the gods. From the vast plains of Africa to the frigid tundra of the Arctic, every culture developed its unique soundscape. The primal drums of the African tribes echoed the heartbeat of the earth, while the haunting flutes of the Inuit mirrored the lonely call of the wind. These sounds, raw and unrefined, were the first notes in the grand symphony of human culture. They laid the foundation for everything that was to come, the music, the languages, the art. From the primal drums of ancient tribes to the melodic flutes of early civilizations, sound has always been a profound part of our existence. And as we will see, it continues to shape our world in ways we could never have imagined. Journey back to the grandeur of ancient civilizations where sound began to take on new forms and purposes. Let's start with the pyramids of Egypt. Here, sound and music were deeply intertwined with religious ceremonies. The Egyptians developed various musical instruments such as the lyre and the sistrum, which were used in rituals to honor their gods. Now let's travel to ancient Greece. The Greeks took a more structured approach to music. They developed the concept of musical scales, giving birth to the harmonious melodies we know today. Greek philosophers like Pythagoras even delved into the mathematical aspects of sound, exploring the ratios that create pleasing harmonies. In the bustling city-states, sound played a pivotal role in public events. From the rhythmic chants that filled the air during Olympic Games to the epic performances in amphitheaters. Journeying further east, we arrive in ancient China, where music was seen as a reflection of the cosmos. The Chinese developed a complex system of pitch standards and musical notations. They believed that music played on the right instruments could harmonize the earth with heaven. The resonating sounds of the guqin, a seven-stringed zither, were thought to represent the balance of yin and yang. But it wasn't just instruments that shaped the soundscape of these civilizations. The human voice was and remains the most personal and expressive musical instrument. From the melodic hymns of Egyptian priests to the passionate chants of Greek poets and the introspective songs of Chinese scholars, the voice was used to convey stories, emotions, and divine messages. These ancient cultures recognized the power of sound, utilizing it as a tool for expression, celebration, and divine connection. They laid the foundation for the rich tapestry of sounds and music we enjoy today. Their innovations in sound and music were not just for entertainment, but were deeply rooted in their beliefs and daily lives. They understood that sound was not just heard, but felt in the soul. And so, as we move forward in our sonic journey, let's remember the wisdom of these ancient echoes. Ancient cultures recognized the power of sound, utilizing it as a tool for expression, celebration, and divine connection. As we move into the Middle Ages, music and sound continue to evolve, influenced by religion, social changes, and technological advancements. During these intriguing times, the church was a major player in the evolution of sound. The sacred chants of the Gregorian monks permeated the air, echoing through the grand cathedrals. These chants were characterized by their monophonic texture, meaning they consisted of a single, unaccompanied melodic line. Their purpose was to enhance the solemnity of the liturgy creating a soundscape that was deeply spiritual and profoundly meditative. Around the same period, a significant milestone was reached in the history of music, the creation of musical notation. This was a game changer. For the first time, 
music could be written down and preserved, allowing compositions to be shared and passed down through generations. This development led to the birth of polyphony, where multiple voices could sing different notes at the same time, adding depth and richness to the musical experience. The Middle Ages also witnessed the development of new musical instruments. The lute, the viel, and the psaltery were some of the stringed instruments that came to prominence. The beauty of the harp and the rhythm of the tambourine added to the diverse soundscape of the era. These instruments not only expanded the range of available sounds, but also provided the means for more complex compositions. What's more, the cultural impact of traveling minstrels and troubadours cannot be understated. These wandering musicians played a crucial role in disseminating news and stories through their songs and poems. They essentially were the broadcasters of the era, using sound and music to connect people, share emotions, and narrate tales of love, heroism, and tragedy. The Middle Ages was a time of exploration and innovation in the world of sound and music. It was a period that saw the blend of sacred and secular, the development of harmony, and the birth of musical notation. From the solemn chants of the monks to the lively tunes of the minstrels, sound played a vital role in shaping society and culture. The Middle Ages brought us the foundations of modern music theory, and sound continued to play a vital role in society and culture. Cross the Atlantic with us now, to the New World, where a distinct symphony of sounds was waiting to be discovered. As the first Europeans set foot on the shores of the Americas, they were greeted by a unique soundscape, unlike anything they had heard before. This was the music of the Native American tribes, a rich tapestry of sounds that reflected the diverse landscapes and cultures across the continent. From the haunting melodies of the flute in the windswept plains to the rhythmic drum beats echoing in the deep forests, each tribe had its own unique acoustic signature. But this wasn't a one-way exchange. The arrival of the Europeans brought a seismic shift in the sonic landscape of the New World. They introduced their own musical traditions, heavily influenced by the church and courtly music of the time. The strumming of lutes, the harmonious chimes of harpsichords, and the powerful resonance of church bells began to intermingle with the indigenous sounds. This collision of cultures resulted in a fascinating cross-pollination of musical traditions. Native American sounds began to influence European music, while European instruments and musical structures found their way into Native American songs. This blending of sounds can be heard in the folk music of the Appalachian Mountains, where European ballads meld with Native American rhythms to create a unique sound. In the South, African slaves brought with them their own rich musical heritage. The stirring beats of African drums, the soulful melodies of spirituals, and the lively rhythms of dance music added yet another layer to this evolving soundscape. This influence is particularly evident in the birth of jazz in New Orleans, a city where cultures and sounds have always been in a state of vibrant fusion. The New World was a crucible of cultures, each bringing their unique sounds, creating a rich and diverse audioscape. From the haunting Native American chants to the lively beats of jazz, the sounds of the New World are a testament to the power of music to transcend boundaries, bringing people together in a shared sonic experience. The New World was a crucible of cultures, each bringing their unique sounds, creating a rich and diverse audioscape. Fast forward to the turn of the 20th century, a time of rapid change and innovation, reflected in the sounds of the era. As the century turned, the world was buzzing with new inventions and ideas, and this dynamism was echoed in its soundscape. The most significant change came with the invention of the phonograph by Thomas Edison in the late 19th century. This device, which could record and reproduce sounds, paved the way for the democratization of music. No longer was music confined to live performances or the homes of the affluent. With the phonograph, melodies could now be captured and shared, creating a new cultural phenomenon. Then came the radio, another revolutionary invention that brought the world closer together. The radio allowed for the mass dissemination of sound, reaching households far and wide. It was a powerful medium that shaped public opinion, and it played a crucial role in giving birth to the golden age of broadcasting. The turn of the century also witnessed the birth of new music genres. Jazz, with its improvisational style and complex rhythms, emerged from the African-American communities in the southern United States. 
It was a reflection of their experiences and struggles, and it soon became a global sensation. Blues, another genre rooted in African-American history, was a poignant expression of the human condition. Its soulful melodies and haunting lyrics resonated with audiences worldwide, influencing future music genres like rock and roll. And let's not forget country music, which originated in the rural southern United States. Country music was a narrative of everyday life, telling tales of love, loss, and the simple pleasures of rural living. So, from the crackling tunes of the phonograph to the vibrant strains of jazz, blues, and country music, the turn of the century was a time of exploration and expression. It was a period where technology and creativity intersected, forever altering the soundscape of our world. The turn of the century was a sonic revolution, forever changing our relationship with sound. Step into the digital age, where technology has transformed sound into a universal language. In this era, nothing has had quite an impact like the evolution of electronic music. Born from the fusion of technology and creativity, electronic music exploded into the mainstream, bringing with it a new form of sonic experience. It has reshaped not only the way we create, but also how we perceive and consume music. The pulsating beats of techno, the ethereal waves of ambient music, the catchy hooks of pop, all brought to life by the magic of digital production. But electronic music is just one piece of the puzzle. The internet has revolutionized music distribution and consumption on a scale never seen before. Gone are the days of scouring through dusty record stores or waiting for your favorite song to play on the radio. Today, a world of sound is at our fingertips. From the rhythmic drumbeats of African tribes to the haunting melodies of a Mongolian throat singer, the internet has made it possible to explore and appreciate the rich tapestry of global sounds like never before. This digital democratization of sound has also sparked a cultural shift. Global music trends are no longer defined by geographical boundaries but by online communities and networks. A K-pop song can top the charts in the United States, a British grime track can inspire a dance craze in Japan, and an indie band from Australia can gather a massive following in Brazil. The world is listening together, creating a shared cultural experience that transcends borders. Moreover, sound has found its place in modern media, from the immersive soundscapes in video games to the emotive scores in films. It's a powerful tool that evokes emotions, tells stories, and enhances our experiences. In today's digital age, sound is more accessible and diverse than ever, a testament to our enduring need for audio expression. So, what does the future hold for sound? As we move forward, we can anticipate an evolution of sound that intertwines with the advancements in technology. Imagine a world where virtual reality concerts are the norm, where we not only hear the music, but become part of the sonic experience. The boundaries between the listener and the sound could blur, creating immersive audio landscapes that transport us to new dimensions. Furthermore, as our world becomes more interconnected, we'll likely see a fusion of music styles from diverse cultures. This could lead to entirely new genres and forms of sonic expression, expanding our auditory horizons. Moreover, developments in artificial intelligence could lead to music generated by machines, adding a new player to the symphony of sound. Who knows, the next Mozart might be a machine learning algorithm. As we look to the future, one thing is certain, sound will continue to shape our experiences, culture, and history in ways we can only imagine. From the dawn of human existence to the digital age, sound has been a profound part of our journey. As we've journeyed through time, we've discovered the rich tapestry of sounds that have echoed through the centuries, each with its unique cultural significance. We've delved into the ancient echoes of our ancestors, the reverberating chants and drumbeats that served as the first form of communication. We've listened to the harmonious melodies of the Middle Ages, the sounds that marked a time of discovery and innovation. We've moved on to the sounds of the new world, the blending of cultures that gave birth to entirely new auditory experiences. We've heard the turn of the century tunes, the symphony of the industrial revolution, and the birth of modern music. And we've stepped into the digital age, where sound has become more accessible, more diverse, and more influential than ever before. These sounds, these melodies, these rhythms, they aren't just noise. They are a reflection of our shared human experience, 
a testament to our diverse cultures, traditions, and histories. They connect us to our past, present, and future, reminding us of who we are and where we come from. In the face of globalization, it's more crucial than ever to preserve these diverse sounds and music. They are more than just entertainment. They are the heartbeat of our cultures, the soul of our societies. They are a symphony of cultures, each note, each beat, each rhythm tells a story that needs to be heard. As technology continues to evolve, let's use it not to silence these unique sounds, but to amplify them. Let's use it to share these stories, to keep them alive for future generations. Let's use it to explore and appreciate the rich diversity of our global symphony. As we continue to explore the symphony of cultures, remember every sound has a story, a history, and a culture to tell.